Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Kenny. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can apply for permanent residency in Canada through a particular route. Now, it's called agriculture and agri-food occupation. It's still under express entry, right? So today, a draw was made and Canada Immigration invited 400 applicants with CRS score of uh, 386. So that is quite low. So what this means is they have different um, specific draws they do. They have for STEM, for healthcare, transportation, trades. So agriculture and agri-food occupation is also one of them. All of them are under express entry. Please, all of these details I'm giving out to you here can be found in Canada uh, immigration websites, IRCC. Right. So uh, they just invited those people today to apply for permanent residency in Canada. And I'm here to quickly tell you all the requirements you need to know for you to see if you meet the application uh, requirements for this application for this program. Sorry. So first of all, for you to apply for this, um, for you to apply for agriculture and agri-food occupations, you must first meet the requirements. Now, what are the requirements? Number one, IELTS. I know at the mention of IELTS, all of you be like, oh, do I need IELTS? I speak English. Yes, you do need IELTS because it's one of the requirements. Now, in this case, the IELTS level you need is not as high as, you know, when you are being invited through Federal Skill Worker Program. It's not. So this one, band, uh, band 7 is even enough for you or even band 8. So uh, for you to write IELTS, what you need is, remember, IELTS has four modules. So for you to write, you need listening to score at least 8 the rest of the modules can be seven. So that means listening eight, reading seven, writing seven, and then speaking seven. This would be enough, right? So let's assume your husband and wife, and then um, your husband can, if your husband can get this particular score, and you, the wife, can also get this particular score, and both of you have bachelor's degree, you are okay. Provided your work, work experience falls under this work experience, under these occupations, which I'm going to um, list. There are about three of them, so I'm going to list them. So remember, IELTS, that's one. Number two is your degree. So you must have at least bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree will be enough for this particular, if you're looking for this particular specific draw, bachelor's degree will be enough for it. Now, whenever I'm telling people to apply for permanent residency in Canada, I always say, if you have more than that, that would be okay. If you have a um, master's degree, PhD, awesome. OND, HND, great. But if you have only bachelor's degree for this program, you are good. If you have only OND, HND, you are also good, right? So, uh, but remember, you have to evaluate that degree. So you're going to evaluate with all the, all the evaluation bodies you have in Canada. You can choose one of them. We have West, we have CES, we have ICES, we have ICAR. So you can choose any one of them to evaluate your degree. As you're evaluating, please, your spouse, you also evaluate. So I'm going to give you some, I'm going to give you an, an, an example. So I did, um, I calculated a CRS score, assuming that the primary applicant is 35 years. So what that means is, let's say the husband is 40. And the wife is 35, right? And both of you have bachelor's degree. And both of you can write IELTS and score 8777, right? Your score will be 401. Now, the draw they did today was 386. And they invited 400 um, applicants. Now, this agriculture and agri-food occupation draws, this year alone, they held the draw, the, the draw twice. So hopefully next year, we're looking at them maybe increasing the quota or something, right? So hopefully if you can do uh, two or three or four times next year, we stand a very good chance of coming here as a permanent resident, right? So now the occupations they are looking for on this is, um, just give me a minute, let me get the occupation. So under this um, agriculture and agri-food occupations, they are looking at NOC 82031. Now, that 82031 is contractors and supervisors, landscaping, grants, maintenance, and horticulture services. So, if your occupation falls in any of these, you're eligible for this. Now, the second one is NOC 82030. The title, occupation title is Agricultural Service Contractors and Farm Supervisors. So, if you're a farm supervisor, if you worked as a farm supervisor throughout your lifetime, you just need, for it, you just need six months work experience. 
But I always advise people, ensure you have at least three years work experience because they're also going to give you points based on the, um, based on your number of years of work experience. So if you have three years of work experience in any of these fields, let's say agricultural service contractors and farm supervisors, you're eligible. And now the last one is NOC 63201, which is butchers, retail, and wholesale. So if you're a butcher, both retail and wholesale, you also qualify for this. Butchers, you know, those people that kill meat, <laughs> those people that kill cow and all those things. So if you, if you have a degree, right, and then this is your uh, occupation, you can also apply for this. You only need two major requirements, your IELTS and your bachelor on your um, education, the educational degree. If you have the two, these two things, and you also can prove that you've worked in any of these occupations, you are good. And for you to prove that you've worked in any, any of these occupations, you will need a reference letter from your employer. Do you understand? So this is quite an easy way for you to look, you know, see if you can apply for permanent residency in Canada. The draw, usually two or three times in a year. Right, and the CRS score is not as high as when they invite other people in federal skilled worker program, um, healthcare, transportation. They also did some transportation uh, uh, the other day, right? But this one is 386. So I, I, I really wish you guys can take advantage of this. Two major requirements write your IELTS, evaluate your degree, both you and your spouse. If you are single, all good too, right? You can come with your family, and when I mean family, I mean husband, wife, and children. Right, so this is one of the best ways you can come to Canada. If you feel maybe you're advanced in age and your CRS score is going to go down, even if you're 38, you've already lost 15 points. Right, if you're 38 years and then you probably have master's degree, right, your points will still be enough. So what I'm telling you right now is make sure that when you're applying for this, let your spouse who is younger be the primary applicant because you're also gonna you're also getting points for age. You're getting point points for age. You're getting points for um your your English language proficiency. If you can also speak French, better for you, right? So I really wish you guys can take this um serious if you really want to come here as a permanent resident. I'm going to leave the link to this page in the description box of this video. So after watching this video, try and go there, check it, all right? And please. We are not immigration agents or consultants. We will never help you to apply. We're only going to share the information with you. If you have questions, you can ask us and they will give you the answer if we have the answer. And be mindful of those using our pictures and our videos to post and tell you that I can help you get a job or can I send them or am I sent them? We will never send any one of them. We have, we are on another social media platform. We are on Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter as Amara and Kenny. We hardly reply uh, uh, inboxes, so feel free to drop your comments in the comment section if you have any question. So um, let me know if you have any question in the comment section, or if you need further guide or maybe you know explanation on this. I will definitely, I or my wife, Amara, will definitely be in the comment section to make sure we answer to all your questions. This is the best way for you to come here as a permanent uh, as a permanent resident. I will also be making videos on other specific specific draws. Like we'll have French language, we also have healthcare occupations, we we'll have STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and maths. We we'll have trade occupation, then transport occupations, as well as this one I'm currently discussing, which is agriculture and, and agri-food occupations. So take advantage of this and hopefully I'll really love to see you guys here in Canada. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share this video if you can. It could be helping some other people to apply for this um, for this route and come here as a permanent resident. I will see you guys on my next video. Until then, stay safe and make sure you start this journey now.